It, it occurs to me as you're both talking that both of you have faced serious illness in your lives, and I'm wondering if that at all has shaped your view of the afterlife. Christopher? Um, I would say it, it fractionally increases my contempt for the false consolation element of religion and my dislike for the dictatorial and totalitarian part of it. But I presume what I say by the first is self-evident. But what I mean by the second is it's considered perfectly normal in this society to approach dying people who you don't know but who are unbelievers and say, now are you going to change your mind? It's, what, in fact, it's considered almost a polite question. <laughs> um, and it used, as you know, there's a long history of fraud about this. People claim that Darwin had a deathbed recantation. They'd made up lies about Thomas Paine. It goes on all the time. It's a very nasty little history. But it, it, there's also a horrible undertone of blackmail to it. People write and say, look, you've got, you've got about one chance left now. Aren't you going to take it? I'm writing to you as a friend. <laughs> <laughs> As it, it, they've even tried it on me when I've been very ill and not, I haven't had quite the vinegar I'd like to have had in, in, my, in a hospital bed. I don't mind, I can take it. But I think there are a lot of people older than myself, iller than myself, perhaps at the risk of seeming conceited, less educated than myself, to whom that's a horrible experience. It's, ve it, it's very depressing and alarming to be spoken to in that way. I mean, if Sam and I were to form a core of people to go around religious hospitals, which is what happens in reverse, and say to people who are lying in pain, say, did you say you were Catholic? Yes. Well, look, you may only have a few days left, but you don't have to live them as a serf, you know. <laughs> Just recognize that that was all bullshit, that the priests, <laughs> the priests have been cheating you. And I guarantee you'll feel better. I don't think that would be very ethical. Okay, but I think it would be something of a breach of taste. But, but if it's in the name of <laughs> if it's in the name of God, it has a social license. Well, fuck that, is what I say. <laughs> and and will say if it's my last breath. Thank you. 